so I'm wearing Pico motion trackers and they do actually work now. Do they get you with a late April Fool joke? Or are these actual Pico trackers? Because Virtual Desktop just added a support for Pico motion trackers on the Pico 4 and Ultra headsets. And if you still own one, my sponsor VRock makes lenses for both, allowing to get the headset closer to my eyes for the best picture quality. So check the links below. And in addition to the Virtual Desktop update, there has been a whole Pico OS update, which basically admits all the issues I covered last year. Trackers just stop tracking and going to sleep every few minutes playing Blade and Sorcery. Having super fast waist drift using a fair tracker, which I have covered in this video. So I have been laying for 3 minutes now, and my body is still not twisted. Which is already an improvement, but probably the most impressive update, that I can actually switch between positions without the AI going crazy. Now the body is still floating and jumping around, but this is what you get with an AI estimation. This is not a real EMU tracking, having only one tracker for each leg, and guessing the rest of the leg and body with only AI. But yeah, all simple poses are covered. Laying down, sitting down, standing up. I have made a video about full body games in VR chat recently. So we can revisit some of those vaults and see if Pico trackers can compete with any of those trackers I have used before. This game allows to race using full body. And I can instantly see I will have a huge problem with my legs floating. Because again this is not a real tracking but more just an AI estimation. So first it's not very responsive and second I cannot even move my feet, I need to move my whole leg. My leg is floating, it can miss by 30 or even 50 centimeters. So even hitting a correct pedal will be a huge challenge, not to mention trying to push it gently. And I even switched to the default AVI, and still it is not possible. I have no feel of a pedal, I simply need to look at my legs and try to fish the pedal with my floating leg which is simply not possible, I cannot look at the road and my foot at the same time. So this game is definitely a fail using Pico trackers. Again, we do not have enough accuracy and no foot tracking too. I'm not even going to load the Just Dance Vault. I can do a salsa step here and my legs are lagging, floating. There is no way I will be able to get any decent score using these trackers in Just Dance. And it is a huge contrast with my regular tracker set from Panda, which just got a new Steam VR driver update, which adds 100 Hz real-time tracking. My virtual legs are literally glued to my real ones. Slimes are putting Vive trackers to shame now. Lastly, there is a chill full body swimming vault. Basically, I can lay down and kick my legs to swim. And if I roll onto the other side, maybe I can even dive. Well, diving did work so well on my quest, it was so natural just looking down and kicking my legs. But it is not working on a Pico. No matter how much and hard, no matter how hard I tried. Same issue in a blade and sorcery. Trackers did calibrate, legs do move in game, but controllers just stopped working. And I'm using Virtual Desktop, not the Boogie Pico Connect now. But I guess because there are so few people using the Pico headset, especially with full body tracking, all these games are simply untested and have all these random bugs only using the Pico device. Same with the Virtual Desktop, so many features are missing coming from a Quest version. No face tracking, no hand tracking, no upper body tracking. A single pass-through option and no death portals, nothing. So that brings us to the conclusion. I guess it is cool that these trackers finally work and deliver what we have been advertising for maybe three years now. Because leg trackers we are announced with the original Pico 4 headset like three years ago. And I guess it's just a little too late now. All people I know have upgraded their headsets and moved on. We are using Quest or a similar headset now. 
and everyone upgraded their tracking systems to Vives or Slimes. So I guess it's cool that Pico trackers finally do work, but nobody cares. You cannot even buy the Pico 4 headset anymore. And I really did hate the new Ultra model, which has downgraded controllers that do not work outside. We have half of the tracking range of the old controllers, so we lose tracking even doing a simple T-pose in VRChat. By the way, it's exactly the same issue with these trackers. We can use camera tracking, but only in steady hand controllers and only at the arm's length. If I stand up with my full height, trackers instantly lose tracking even in this special mode. Same for tracker on my leg. I need to bring my leg all the way to my face to start tracking. And I instantly lose tracking again, just simply extending the leg. As the competition is not standing in place, Slime just got a huge Steam Driver update, which puts even Vive tracking to shame now, especially on standalone headsets, but got the same auto resets for drift. Slimes do recognize even way more poses and auto resets trackers. If you sit, kneel, you don't even need to stand up anymore. Again, I have made a whole video about the new slime update. You can check it here. And yeah, leave a comment. Do you still own your Pico headset? Do you have trackers or planning to get them now? And definitely check VR rock lenses for Pico. I'm using another set on my Quest Pro and they even help to protect the eye tracking part from all the sweat. So see all the links down below.